All right, so this is the mudroom progress. I had a tiler buddy come in in the past couple of days, and he did a fantastic job tiling the floor. I did the bathroom tile myself recently. We got the laundry machines back in here, so at least we can clean our clothes. Cabinets are up, still some trim work and some other things to happen in the next few days. But today, we are going outside, doing a massive cleanup, big spring cleanup outside today. So I'm gonna take you guys along, kind of show you what's going on out there. This is my camera. All right, hen Ted, tractor. Well, we're definitely gonna use the tractors. We're gonna put away the hockey rink first. After that, the hockey rink is put away. We will move on to other stuff. All right, Ted, come, come on. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna take the bucket off the tractor, put the forks on, and then we're going to get the pallets and stack all these hockey boards onto the pallets. The Emerson, you wanna ride the tractor? Okay. There's room for that. You wanna ride the tractor? Come some of that. Found a worm. Is it yummy? It's not gummy. It's not gummy worm. <laughs> We're gonna put him. Put him in Papa's pocket. Here. Perfect. Oh. Don't run. Perfect. That's not his <laughs> own. Do you get the other two chickens? Where are you gonna put him? Edge. Go put him back in the ground. Are they on the other side of the He's gonna go help the soil. Okay. You guys, all chickens accounted for? Before putting these pallets to sleep, I want to secure these boards to it. So this is arbor tie webbing. We use this all the time to support up broken branches in our industry. So I'm going to pass this under the pallet. I'll show you guys a quick trick here. Poor man's ratchet strap. So on the termination end over here, I'm going to take this right here, pretty much a bite of it. One overhand knot, essentially creating a very simple loop, right? Doesn't have to be a fancy alpine butterfly. You could if you really wanted to, but this definitely does the trick. Next, we're gonna wanna calculate our system. So the whole, what we wanna do is that we wanna pass this through this loop back to another one and then cinch it together. So I'll take this right to the end where I want it to be. 
I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna pretty much on the opposite side of the board I want to create the exact same loop so just take a section of webbing like this second knot now we got two points that we can cinch together Should probably move this back a little bit further if you make them too close together you're not gonna have enough room to work the entire system so the further back you go the better too far back you're just wasting material so there you go that's great now I gotta calculate this to there and some excess so I'll calculate a little bit of excess cut it off we're good to go now I'm gonna take this tail end put it through that first loop I made Right, and then pass it through the second one I made. Through the other one again. Every time I do that, I'm actually adding mechanical advantage to be able to crank this thing together. And now, you just tie a couple of overhand knots any odd way, it does not really matter. Once you've done that, you've been able to cinch together your ratchet, your strap without a ratchet. So this will stay outside in the weather and I won't have to worry about it. You know, it's just a couple cents of fabric, no fancy mechanism on there. So that's that. So the kids get paid five cents a pine cone for collection. Florence, Boone, and Henry. You. you got no, some too? You only got three. Uh-huh. Henry, are you like the, uh, you the accountant? Yep. All right, that makes you the accountant. So you line that up and I'll come and, uh, Tally it up later and pay you guys. All right, Sunny and I are gonna show you the five new trees that we planted last year. So we have a linden over here, a magnolia right behind Abby, two ginkgo biloba, so one there, and another one tucked right behind the chicken coop. And finally, we got our beautiful red oak. So this is our contribution for having taken out a bunch of ash trees along here last year. Eventually we'll probably plant some more here. Our plan is actually to have an orchard in the front yard over there. Stay tuned for that. But we're gonna replenish this corner of the yard. We took out two cedars, a sick apple tree, and like I mentioned, five or six ash along this back row. We burned through a lot of firewood last year, so now we're pre-stacking already. It's months away, but still good to be ready. This will burn all through it this winter, and my plan is to get a second stack going in the back here so we can you know, at least have almost two years in advance. A lot of this is ash. We've got some maple. Uh, the emerald ash borer is out of these trees. This is just primo dry, dry, dry firewood. Uh, all these ash trees were killed by that emerald ash borer. And it's unfortunate, but we can repurpose it. Kiss it. I already got my friend. Uh huh, so cheesy. Look, he's got bright yellow legs. Look at, look at his legs. Put it behind the head so the chickens won't eat it. You don't think we should mm -hmm. give him to the chickies? Honey, yeah. no. I think he probably would make him poisonous. Hey, little froggy. You wanna have a little partner? Okay. <laughs> you're only not freaking out because you're recording <laughs> big cracks all right one of the last things we're going to do today is take all these wood chips with the loader and we're going to go and spread them over there you guys are all excited to drive right we're all going to take turns
Mooney and Daddy are going to go first, Ted. And then you and your brother Henry will get a shot. I could have taken the John Deere easily for this with the bucket, but I want to bring the stuff across the lawn to the chicken coop, and I don't want to turn up the lawn, tear up the lawn. So this with the lawn tires is a great option. Okay, Hen, I'm going to hop in with Booney. Rem, I'm going to take it off the truck first, and after that it's off, I'll pick you up down here, all right? Thanks, Anne. Hey, Bunny. I'm gonna pick you up down there. All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down the slope alone. All right. Just wait for me over there by the walkway, please. Thank you. Son, got one more scoop to pick up. Somebody just woke up from his nap and wants to come in the tractor. Sonny, come here.
here. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. It was a fun day. We got a lot of stuff done at the property. Stuff that just accumulates over the winter and the spring and in the rush. Finally took a full day to get it all done. Property looks great. I'm gonna have to plant some seed and some topsoil, I guess. Let me show you guys. Right over here eventually. So yeah, skating rinks are wrapped up. Kids like to play soccer here in the front yard, so I left that there for them. Gonna bring this back to the shop uh, tomorrow. It's raining right now. A lot of work ahead next week. We're gonna try to get some more videos of some stuff happening on the job for you guys. Not every single job site is a great occasion to film, but hey, got some time to do some stuff at my house. I'm gonna take you guys along this journey. Thanks for watching. Love this trailer. This we call it the equipment trailer, flat deck. Fits everything. See you next week.